Hey guys, this is Nick from Red Arrow Industries, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick tip on using clone in your paint effect on Avid Media Composer, and how to track that clone. Cloning is great when you need to hide something in your video that you don't want your viewer to see. This could be an address, a piece of art, or a pesky little logo on the back of most laptops. The cloning tool works by creating a mask that duplicates a part of your image that you select by drawing a shape over. Today I will use the paint tool to hide those two music notes between the dancing couple by cloning some of the cardstock around them. So we are going to go up to our effect tab and put a paint effect on our clip. Switch over to your effect editor workspace. First thing we want to do is select our mode. There are so many awesome things you can do with these modes in the paint effect, but all we need is clone for this. Now we are going to decide which shape we would like to use for our clone. We should be just fine with the rectangle tool. So this should be a pretty simple clone, because we want to make it look like those notes were never there to begin with. And we have all of the cardstock around the couple to steal from. So we'll make our clone, and drag it over to hide the notes. Let's zoom in and take a look at it. Looks pretty good. I do want to remind you guys that when you use clone, resizing it will not just stretch out your object. The Avid takes into account where you grab the clone from, and when you stretch it out, it reveals more of the space around your original clone. So let's go ahead and undo that. I'm going to zoom back into our clone, and I'm going to add just a little bit of feathering to help hide it from the viewer. Come back over to your effect editor, open feathering, and we are going to go pretty light because the clone isn't that large. Let's just do three. Hit tap and we'll make it three for both horizontal and vertical. That looks pretty good. I can't see it, especially when I zoom back out. Now let's hit play and see how it looks. Pretty self-sustaining on the record side. And now since there's a pan in the clip, we will need to add a tracker onto our clone. So we will go back to the beginning of our clip on the first keyframe. Make sure your object is still selected. Open up tracking in the effect editor. Check one of the boxes to activate a single tracking point. I prefer to use the fluid tracker. It seems more smooth and looks better to me than the correlation tracker. When you track something, it is important to place the tracking box on something with high contrast. You will want to pick something that moves in relation with your object. When I track blurs on license plates, I will usually try to use a tail light. Porch lights are great for addresses. For this, we should be able to just track on what we are actually cloning out. So let's hit zoom in, move the tracker box onto the note, and hit start tracking. Alright, now let's change the display to effect results and see how it looks. Looks good on that last keyframe. Now let's hit play and make sure that it doesn't stand out. Pretty self-sustaining on the record side. And looks like we are all set. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment letting us know what you would like to see next. And check us out on Facebook at Red Arrow Industries or online at redarrowindustries.com.